In 1940, Mortimer Adler wrote the first edition of what is now considered a classic of education, How to Read a Book. There have been subsequent editions that contain great information, but the bulk of what we'll be covering today is from Adler's words of advice from nearly 75 years ago. He states that there are four types of reading. Elementary. This is just what it sounds like. It's what we learn in elementary school and basically gets us to the point that we can understand the words on a page and read them, and follow a basic plot or line of understanding, but not much more. Inspectional. This is basically skimming. You look at the highlights, read the beginning and end, and try to pick up as much as you can about what the author is trying to say. I'll bet you did plenty of this with high school reading assignments. I know I did. Think of spark notes when you think of inspectional reading. Analytical. This is where you really dive into a text. You read slowly and closely, you take notes, you look up words or references you don't understand, and you try to get into the author's head in order to be able to really get what's being said. Syntopical. This is mostly used by writers and professors. It's where you read multiple books on a single subject and form a thesis or original thought by comparing and contrasting various other authors' thoughts. This is time and research intensive, and it's not likely that you'll do this type of reading very much after college, unless your profession or hobby calls for it. This post will cover inspectional and analytical reading, and we'll focus mostly on analytical. If you're reading this blog, you likely have mastered the elementary level. Inspectional reading is still useful, especially when trying to learn new things quickly, or if you're just trying to get the gist of what something is about. I won't cover syntopical reading in this post, as it's just not used much by average Joe reader. Analytical reading is where most readers fall short. The average high schooler in America reads at a fifth grade level, and the average adult American reads somewhere between the seventh and eighth grade levels. This is where most popular fiction actually falls. For men, think Tom Clancy, Clive Cussler, Louis Lammer, etc. These are books that are incredibly entertaining, and a great way to spend a weekend afternoon, but if we're honest with ourselves, don't challenge our intellect all that much.